Hi everyone, it's the Ticket to Christ. Thank you for tuning back in. We're starting another series um, on wisdom for these days. And we're looking at uh, Matthew 7, verse 24 and 25. And this is the Lord speaking. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Okay, so let's pause there. What is the Lord saying here? What are you getting? What does it mean to, uh, what? who is it that Jesus is saying is uh, he's likening that person to a wise man? What is this person doing? What are they, what are they like? Um, what I'm seeing, verse 24, it says, uh, this person hears what Jesus says and actually does it, right? So what do you think it means to hear the saying of sayings of Jesus? Do you think it just means that uh, you hear a scripture or you hear a sermon or a message and that's it? You know, you hear it like you're hearing my words now. No, he's saying... Um, Hearing here, it means to actually you believe it, right? So you really hear it. You take it in. You take it in your heart. Um, and Jesus is saying those who take in their hearts what I say and actually do what I say, you're a wise person. That's building your house. He's likening it to building your house on a rock. And the rock, of course, is representative of Jesus. And that is a very solid foundation. Um, and it's wise because um, when hard times come, which um, likened in verse 24 to rains or floods and winds, and notice the progression. At first, it starts to rain. And then, of course, you have a flood and then winds blowing. So this is a house that's under severe attack. And so the um, this example is showing that it's, Building your house upon a rock does not mean that you're not going to come under attack. It does not mean that hard times won't come. It does not mean that challenges won't come. But notice that he said the house did not fall because of the foundation of the house was on a rock. And of course, that rock is Jesus. And so when we build our house, our build our lives on the Lord, how do we do that? By hearing what he says and actually doing what he says. And faith is an action. Faith means to believe and to do. There's a corresponding action that comes from faith. Um, and so if you're building your life daily, if you're living your life daily like this, that you're hearing the words of Jesus, you're in the word daily, feeding your spirit, you know, spending time with the Lord, um, uh, getting whatever direction that he has for you for that day. It's one day at a time, you know, that we live our lives. Just like every day you get up, you eat, you have to drink, drink water, eat, <laughs> get air to breathe. The same way spiritually, you have to feed your spirit, you know, and build your life on the rock, which is Jesus. When hard times come, and I say when, when challenges come, you will stand, you won't fall. Now, if we look at verse 26 through 28, he gives a counter view. And, it's, and it says here, And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell and great was the fall of it. So what is it what is this part talking about is telling you what is what a foolish Christian looks like. That uh, that person hears what Jesus says, right? It's not that they didn't hear it, they heard it, but they don't act on it. They don't do anything. So if the Lord says seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, they hear that and say, yeah, God says seek first, put him first in my in his in our in my day. Daily put hit him first, seeking my relationship with him on his terms first. But they don't do that, right? Jesus says that's somebody who's foolish because 
It's like building their house on the sand. They're not building their house on him. And that person is foolish and deceived. Now, what type of, uh, what thing can represent sand? What are you building your house on? If you're not um, hearing and obeying the words of God, what are you building your house on? Well, a lot of times people are building their houses on their emotions. They're building their houses on their feelings. They're building their houses on their skills, their jobs, their degrees and intellect, or on uh, their spouses, or the security that they get from this relationship or that relationship or this position in church or that uh, position in church. And that's like building your house on sand. That is considered foolishness because when hard times come, when challenges come, I guarantee you those emotions are not going to be able to help you. You know, when hard times and challenges come, uh, that job, those degrees, those things can be removed. You know, uh, people can die. You know, positions can be removed. Churches can close. You know, these are things that are not certain. They're not guaranteed. But the Lord is guaranteed and he's certain. He is the rock. And so if we're building our lives on anything else, if we're getting our security or putting our foundation or prioritizing other things, that's what it's like to be building your house on sand. Um, so that is a, a, a life that's waiting to be destroyed. And a lot of people live foolishly, building their lives on emotions, on their own understanding, on their own viewpoint, but not on the Lord. And the Lord is saying here, we need to build our houses on him. He is the rock. Um, so beloved, those are my insights about this. I hope it uh, gave you um, some food for thought and that you will really just look and think through, hmm, am I really building my life on the rock? Uh, or am I building my life on my own emotions? Or am I building my life on what other people tell me? Am I a flip-flopper, you know? Am I building my life on the security that I get from uh, my own achievements and things? And this is a great time to really think through this as we're getting into um, a, the, you know, the winter season and just a time whereby a lot of people struggle. They go through very hard times. I notice in the months of October, November, and December, it's always horrible things, you know, people that you hear about with people and with their lives, job losses and suicides and health issues. And just, it's like the spiritual attacks come extra heavy. And so you need to really take the time now to examine your life and make sure you're standing firm on the rock. Because the Lord guarantees that, look, whatever comes your way, you will stand and you will be able to overcome it. Okay, beloved, that's it from me. God loves you so much. Have a great day. Take care.